Becoming a web dev in 2023 seems like an uphill battle, literally. And in this video, I want to share with you like what would be my strategy towards, you know, changing my career, changing my life, learning this skill, and how would I approach it, you know, in these crazy times that we are living in. We have layoffs, we have chat GPT, we have a bunch of like crazy things that are happening right now, but there is a way there is a, an approach, a strategy that you can take today to change your life, okay? And hear me out. The other day I was speaking with a junior just like you, uh, an aspiring developer, and he was like into this whole game for like four months. And he was studying HTML and CSS, you know? And those are fundamental technologies that you have to start with. And then I started interrogating him like, hey, how do you know that you're doing the right thing? How do you know you are good enough to get a job? Like, why do you call out recruiters to be assholes for not giving you a shot and whatnot? And I basically drilled down into his brain to see how he thinks, you know, because most of you, you know, like think that you are so great or like you got this under control and it's just a matter of time and just people hate you and that's why you're not getting hired. But in reality, there are multiple pieces and multiple things that are missing from your you know, approach, and that's why you're not getting hired. That's why you're not making six figures. That's why you're not working remotely. Otherwise, if you'd have that on lock, you'll be where you wanna be, okay? So the first thing that you need to do is to have some sort of aim, some sort of goal that you need to reach out to, right? You need to know how good you need to become in order to get hired. So five, seven years ago, I think when I started learning this thing, web development and, and JavaScript, React, it was quite a new thing. Maybe JavaScript wasn't a new thing, but web development as an industry, you know, like being actual programmers, making web applications was a new thing, okay, in 2015, 2016, when I started doing this. And getting in was fairly easy. You didn't have to be some sort of genius to do it. Yeah, there were a lot of biases towards people that have a degree and whatnot, and that was the difficult part. But now, like, nobody cares if you have a degree or not. Nobody cares if you have a certification. The only thing that people care about is, can you do the job? But that's where the things changed quite a lot. Can you do the job? changed quite a lot so back in the day if you knew some react if you knew a bit of redux you were like good to go you were like a genius you know like you were whatever every recruiter was wishing for right but now if you look into a job description junior devs are right now mid-level devs okay you cannot just get away with react redux now you need to learn Next.js, you need to learn backend, you need to learn a database, you need to learn so much more and the barrier of entry is way higher, right? Whatever used to be good enough or like amazing back in the day, now it's expected. Like back in the day, like in the 50s, if you had a car, you were like a top, top man, right? But now if you don't have a car, like you are a bum, like it's expected for you to have a car. I'm a bum, I don't have a car, but I hope you understand like my analogy whatever used to be amazing back in the day now it's required now that's the bare minimum okay and software development web dev front-end dev now it's actually very very difficult to get in because the barrier of entry is so much higher and juniors like junior skills are still low and the main reason why juniors are struggling to get hired as web developers as front-end developers is because they are a commodity. Everyone can pick up a Udemy course. Everyone can pick up Codecademy. Everyone can open, you know, their YouTube and search for some tutorials and think, you know, they are front-end developers. But you don't know what you don't know, right? Like, it's a matter of perspective. The reason why I'm making this video with this background is because here I have a perspective, right? I can look up and I can see all the cars that are moving around. If I would be down there in a car, I would only see in front of me like 50 meters and that's it, right? So your perspective is skewed because you are a noob. And that's what you need to understand. If you wanna be able to navigate this, you need to come from a higher level and see everything from above like I do. Why do you think I was able to help so many people land dev jobs? Because I know what problems you have, what you'll get stuck with, I know, how you know you get stuck with free code camp with code academy you don't really understand the concepts and if you do understand them after many many months 
then you are blocked and you're stuck in tutorial hell and you are just watching courses and blah 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 and you're not really making as much progress as you wish right because you are stuck there at the ground level with the rest of the people but what i do is i basically see this entire process you know like a little game and i can see you like a wizard for example right and you as a wizard you have like different uh capabilities different characteristics and i know that okay at this level like first month you should be really good at making websites like you should be able to replicate literally any website that you make if you cannot do that in your first month then your courses failed you right i might sound harsh and you might hate me but if you cannot make any website you see in your first month you failed if after two months of learning javascript you do not understand that everything on a web page is data you have failed and again it's not your fault it's just the resources that you are using are making you fail right it's always a matter of perspective what you see is what you get right so you need to rise above if you want to make crazy progress really fast be really good be really confident and obviously make the recruiters work with you okay you do not want to work against the recruiters you don't want to fight them right you don't want to make them assholes you need to understand that the recruiters are there to make money okay they're not there to help you get a job they're there to help a company make money it's as simple as that they are not there to give you a shot they are not there to give you an opportunity you need to show them that you can make them money right nobody wants to hire juniors like if you don't understand that in 2023 your your gurus are lying to you they are just making you feel good nobody wants to hire juniors you need to become mid-level from now on right and now okay mid-level is going to become even more crazy and then senior is going to become even more crazy but it's just a matter of like taking the right steps at the right time and the way to actually overcome all these problems that you will have in 2023 is that you have to stand out so if you are a junior right now and you are building a portfolio delete that shit <laughs> delete that if you have a portfolio you will be automatically labeled as a noob and nobody will want to hire you so what i do with my clients feel free to do this as well is we create a product and we put that product on your resume that's it in this way you'll have one year of experience already or two years depending on how good you are and then people will actually take you seriously because they will see that you've actually built something worthwhile not another pokedex not another weather app not another calculator not another uh, e-commerce bullshit clone not another whatever you are doing is bad trust me whatever you are doing is bad you need to think bigger how can i make a product that makes money how can i build a product that saves people's time if you do those two things you'll be absolutely killing it okay because people want someone to make them money right that's how you have to think don't think about oh I, if anyone would give me a shot then my life would be changed nobody wants to give you a shot bro nobody wants to give you a shot like you have to think about the fact that everyone that you'll be working with was once a junior but there must be a reason why they don't want to pay it back right why they don't want to give you a shot when someone else gave them a shot and the reason why is because those people that are senior right now they know how difficult the job is and they wouldn't trust the junior to come in and do the work they don't want to come in and you know train you and help you and handhold you they don't want to do that they want someone that can deliver and make them money as fast as possible like that's what you need to understand it's as simple as that but once you wake up and once you like take the red pill once you have the cold shower then you'll start to become you know a professional and that's when you can work remotely that's when you can start making money right that's when things will start to move in your favor right so that's the video for today look you can keep doing it you know, on your own and you'll waste a few months if not years or you can apply for my mentorship the link is in the description and i'm gonna help you you know with everything from whatever level you are 
I'm gonna show you how to get better at HTML and CSS, at JavaScript, at React. I'm gonna show you how to work in a team. I'm gonna show you how to create that resume that's worthwhile. We'll do interview prep, every single thing that you can think of. And I'm gonna work with you until you get hired. Nobody else is gonna offer you anything like this. Let's have a chat. Let's see if this is what you are looking for. And if it is, we'll work together. Otherwise, no problem. That's it. Peace out. See ya.